Hello and welcome back to another Stalker 2 video. I have played a lot of Stalker 2 since release and along the way I've picked up some good tips that any new player to the game will find helpful as the game can be a bit overwhelming in the beginning. Before I jump into the list I want to make sure if you're new to the game that you know exactly how to play a Stalker game. This is not a Bethesda game like Fallout or most open world games, it's a survival game and the point is to go slow like real life. You prepare your journey with as little supplies as possible because you only have a limited carry weight and you need to head out and scavenge for supplies as much as you can carry and get back to your settlement and sell everything, only keeping the essentials and any good gear that you've found. And you should only be exploring a couple of locations at a time and making sure to eat and sleep along the way. So you're supposed to go slow and steady and scavenge and that's pretty much how to play the game. Okay, let's jump into some more tips for beginners. Try to avoid combat early in the game to conserve your gear and resources, which are scarce at the beginning. Focus on building up supplies and equipment instead of risking unnecessary encounters. Stay behind cover whenever possible as enemies deal significant damage. Use terrain features like walls or objects to shield yourself and avoid exposing your character. Keep moving during fights to make it harder for enemies to hit you. Breaking their line of sight can confuse the target and may also create opportunities to flank them. Retreating when needed is a smart choice. You can avoid fights that you can't win or they're going to cost too many resources and this will help you to survive and thrive longer. Be cautious when facing things like butters as these mutants can disarm you and potentially use your weapon against you and they deal a lot of damage. Remember your skiff pistol is a quest item and so cannot be dropped when you're fighting them. Take advantage of the ability to lean and peek around corners to shoot while minimizing your exposure to enemy fire. This tactic keeps you safer during firefights. Use single shot mode on your firearm to conserve ammo, reduce weapon wear over time, and improve your accuracy. Full auto is worth using in emergencies or tight spaces where precision matters less. Target weak spots on enemies, especially mutants, for maximum damage. Usually this means trying your best to aim for the enemy's head. Equip a knife to stealthily eliminate enemies, which can save ammo and avoid alerting other nearby. The little blue bar under the compass is your sound meter and tells you how much noise you are making. You can outrun most mutants and since they rarely drop valuable loot, it's usually better to avoid wasting ammo or risking damage unless the fight is tied to a quest. Don't hesitate to use grenades during encounters. Use anomalies to your advantage, they can deal damage to enemies that get too close. They also stop enemies from attacking you like bloodsuckers as they avoid getting too close. If you encounter a bloodsucker and you don't want to fight them, you can try luring them close to friendly NPC guards. Secure the Weird Nut artifact as soon as possible since it provides automatic blood loss cure, meaning you no longer need to use bandages. It can be found in the cooling tower in the Fire Anomaly. Find the Thunderberry artifact as soon as possible as well, as it will give you maximum stamina and make exploring far easier. It's found randomly at Electric Field Anomalies. You can farm for artifacts if you save the game 150 meters away from the anomaly, you can simply reload the game if you don't get the artifact that you wanted. Also store weapons in your backpack when you're artifact hunting to protect them from unnecessary damage caused by anomalies. Make sure when you're looting that you check every nook and cranny as loot stashes and rare items are hidden in many unexpected places. Smash crates to find healing items and ammo. Be cautious though as accidentally hitting a grenade in one of them will cause it to explode. Carrying too much stuff makes you overburdened and makes you drain stamina faster and walk slower. Use the map markers to highlight destinations or hazards, making navigation easier and reducing the chance of getting lost. Create custom markers on your map as well to track hazards, ambush points or areas you plan to revisit later. You can also highlight map locations so they appear on your compass so you know the exact direction that you're going. Plan your days out around the in-game day-night cycle. 
leaving your camp at dawn and returning before dark to avoid risky nighttime encounters. Vendors restock your inventory after you sleep as well, so if you need plenty of ammo, you can buy it from a vendor, sleep, and then you can rebuy the ammo again. You need to sleep every four in-game days or you will get drowsy and this can affect your combat effectiveness. Similarly, feeling hungry can also affect your combat and make you less good at stealth. Avoid looting weapons and armors to sell as they are often broken and not worth much. Focus on collecting ammo instead, which is much more valuable. If you are in the wild and have too much stuff to carry that you can't walk, you can store up to 30 kilograms of stuff on a dead bandit and you can carry him instead. It's slow but it will allow you to carry 30 kilograms more than you normally would if you were over encumbered. Use marked loot stashes as temporary storage, leaving items there will allow you to return later and these stashes are always marked on the map. Save your game often as you never know when you might encounter a bug, make a mistake or face an unexpected challenge. Talk to stalkers in the wild, they can often trade you useful supplies like food and other necessities. Progress through the main story carefully as advancing too quickly can lock you out of some side missions or even make certain factions or settlements hostile towards you. Be on the lookout for random side quests from NPCs as they usually pay well and offer unique opportunities. Don't forget to focus on the inventory and weight management, it can be tempting to carry 60 health kits and 30 sausages, but you don't really need that and you can store at least half of them and keep them for later, allowing you to loot more stuff when you're out in the wild. Find and upgrade your anomaly scanner as soon as you can, it makes finding artifacts easier and quicker. Focus on completing side missions early on as they often provide some of the best cash rewards and are a steady income without requiring the excessive risk of main missions. If you need cash quick, speak with any of the barkeepers in settlements. They usually have things like killing bandits or dogs and stuff like that that you can do quickly and multiple times for quick cash. Sell any surplus gear such as damaged weapons, artifacts or supplies you don't need to earn cash. Only keep items that are essential for your current needs. Avoid purchasing gear early in the game, instead focus on looting from stashes and corpses and anomalies to save your coupons for more important upgrades later. Learn to recognise ammo types, white is for regular rounds, black is for armour piercing, blue for long range shots and yellow is usually for non armoured targets, especially mutants. You don't need to loot weapons but always unload their ammunition as doing this constantly ensures you have a good supply of ammo for traders and for your weapons. Don't waste resources repairing low conditioned weapons or armour early on as these items are often not worth the investment. Save your materials for higher tier equipment. However if you do repair items try to go to a tech who is highlighted in green on the map as they are friendly and you will get a discount. Some vendors are marked simply in white and you can have an occasion where they are marked in red. Hold off on upgrading your suit until you find high quality armour as upgrading early game suits can waste money better spent on more durable gear. Repair your gear regularly, fixing slightly damaged gear is cheaper and more effective than waiting until your gear is nearly broken. Using the skiff pistol early in game is a good idea as it's extremely cheap to repair but is still a decent gun. Get the Siva Eye suit early in the game as it offers great protection and comes with a lead container, making it ideal for artifact farming and exploration. Lead containers allow you to equip an artifact without taking radiation damage. Lead containers show as a little green glow in your artifact slot. Don't forget to make good use of your quick access so you don't need to open your bag to use stuff like healing during combat. So guys that is it for this video, hopefully you found it helpful, if you did leave a like and comment, I'm sure there will be plenty of other pro tips in the comments below as well that I didn't mention in the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful guides and I will see you next time.